So good morning to everybody. Well, uh, this is my last day of the week here in Dubai. Well, it's going to be a really intensive day and I'm uh, so excited about all the things that are going to happen today. So, uh, well, I want to explain you uh, something around this picture that I post a few, a few weeks before. And I think it's really interesting because it shows the way we can control the torque, the root torque in, in any single teeth in the mouth if you give to the technician the proper instructions to do that, okay? When we work with braces, like with, um, with Damon braces or, or in other type of braces where you can you can select the torque depending on the, the type of malocclusion that you have. You can choose for uh, extra torque, low torque, or standard torque. Uh, with Invisalign, we can do more or less exactly the same, but giving to the technicians exactly the instructions about the torque that we want to achieve and uh, about the way we want to move the teeth. So if we compare, look at here, this picture here on the, on the left, where we have a lot of crowding and an asymmetric shape of the arch. And we have one of the central incisor, the, the central lower left incisor is totally blocked in lingual. Also look where is the where is where is the root where we can see also the volume in the in the lingual so we want to procline that okay so typically if we push as you can see here in the arrow the central incisor to the front okay the pressure of the liner here what is going to do is it's going to incline the crown but it's going to maintain the root okay so if we just tell the technician that we want to procline the central incisor, what we are going to get at the end is a alignment in the crowns, but the root will stay in the, in the lingual surface. So how to avoid that? The way to avoid that is telling them that in the moment while they do this proclination, they have to give at the same time buccal root torque at the same time. So you are not going to achieve this movement, you are going to do this movement. So if you do that, you can compare the initial picture with the, with the final picture where we have controlled perfectly, the root look perfect. Now we have exactly the same torque in both central incisors, okay? So a small tip to apply from today in your Invisalign cases. So have a good day. See you really soon.